We're here at ASH 2017 in snowy Atlanta, Georgia, and very excited at this meeting to be presenting data from our Ibrutinib FCR clinical trial. And I'm going to talk about how I think Ibrutinib plus FCR may work its way into the armamentarium of CLL therapies in the future. So in our study, we're targeting the young fit CLL patients, age 65 or younger, who are in good shape, and desire a time-limited therapy that may have curative potential. We've seen very promising long-term results from FCR alone for the low-risk CLL patients. But our study actually includes both low and high-risk CLL patients with both mutated and unmutated IGHV. And we give six months of the combination of abrutinib with FCR, followed by two years of abrutinib maintenance. And by using this approach, we've seen dramatic improvements in both the rates of complete remission and the rates of MRD or minimal residual disease negativity. So we're seeing as a best rate of MRD negativity 83% which as far as we know is actually the highest rate for any regimen ever used in CLL. And we're optimistic that for these young fit patients who can tolerate an aggressive approach, that this will be a good option to consider in the future. Our study is a phase two study and we're gonna be expanding it to include up to 85 patients. Right now I'm only presenting the first 35 patients, but if our results are confirmed in the larger cohort and we're able to discontinue therapy after the two years of maintenance, I think this will be a promising strategy to explore in larger phase three settings. And if those studies are positive, I think that could change the standard of care for young fit patients with CLL.